Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a brand new effect in DaVinci Resolve 18. I think that's the new update. But anyways, there's this brand new effect that just came out for free. And I have to show you guys. I have to show you guys how cool this effect is because... DaVinci Resolve is transforming into this space and field. And by that, I mean they're kind of listening to the community. Now, as of, you know, the last few updates, or just DaVinci Resolve when it first came out in general, they've always had basic, outdated effects. Effects that everyone had, every software has had for the longest time. Now, what you're able to do in the software is amazing. You're able to create so many things. But as far as the effects that they have to offer, it's kind of limited. But DaVinci Resolve is listening. We have auto captions. Now, obviously, I know this came out about a year or two ago. We're getting better effects. And so in today's video, I'm going to be going over one effect that stood out to me. And I believe that you guys should see it too. We're going to hop right into DaVinci Resolve right now. All right, guys. So I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I realized that it is the, actually the 19 that I'm talking about. Sorry if I confused you with 18, but it is the 19 that I'm talking about. Uh, anyways, in this effect, it's actually very, very simple, um, and there are actually two sub effects to it as far as I know, but all I know is I have this new thumbnail that I have for one of my clients, and if you come over to Effects and come over to Fusion Effects, you have this cool effect called a comic book. Now, as you can see when I hover over this, look at how cool this effect is, guys. This is an in DaVinci Resolve effect. This is preloaded in DaVinci Resolve. So all I have to do is just drag and drop this onto my footage, and if we play this back, it even animates for you. Now, you can go as far as to coming over to the right in the Inspector tab and double-clicking this little wand, and actually being able to double-click this and open it up and see exactly what they are doing in this. So this is the whole node tree and it looks very difficult, which is why DaVinci Resolve just did it for you. Now, if we just come back here, it is pretty customizable as far as the image scale. You know, we can we can zoom this out even more if we want to, so it can look something like this, and it zooms out like that. Now, the only thing I wish it did is it had a nice like zoom back in or like a transition, you know? So now another thing as far as this title that you have with the comic is now we have a comic title. So. You know, we could come here and easily do something here and say next day, right? And then watch this play out and we could somehow make this an animation. So if we just simply make this a compound clip, create it, duplicate it, hold option, we're able to double click this and, and go to change clip speed and reverse the speed. So now if we look at this, it's just going to reverse itself. So you might have to cut it like right here to where the effect actually starts to kick in. So I'm gonna cut it right there and then bring this back like this. But if we play this through, it'll actually just go ahead and zoom back in this effect for us, right? So if we take this clip right here, let's just deactivate this for now. We're gonna take this into a compound clip just like so. And we're gonna hit shift space and search for a transform and we're just going to add the second transform for more customization. Come to the Expector tab, and with it already at frame zero, we're just gonna zoom all the way in like this. Now we're gonna just simply hit a keyframe and literally go to frame 15 and put this back to one. Now what we're gonna do is come to the spline and, and select the transform node, double click, hit Command A, and then double click and go to Ease and then go to Out Cubic, and then what we can also do is come to the settings and apply some motion blur. So now if we look at it, it's going to start right there and just auto zoom out like that. Now we can actually get rid of the second one, duplicate this, double click and change the clip speed again, reverse it, not freeze it, reverse it. Um, and then just simply cut it there. And now if we put these two, hold them together, create a compound clip, now we have something that is like a transition almost. So it stays there. You can have this flipping if you want. You could somehow make this how to flip to a different image to where it transitions now into the next video. So like, look at that, look at how fire that is. Like this animation right here, all I did was a DaVinci Resolve effect and then just added some sauce to it. So guys, if you like this effect too, then go ahead and drop a comment down below. And actually guys, if you are new here, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am on my way to 10K. I have a very special giveaway for the person who get, is my 10,000th subscriber. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this effect. I hope you guys learned something too. And I hope you guys can use this and, and take your creativity and run with it. So anyways, I hope you have a good day. Also, if you guys want to learn how to edit faster, 
There's the creator bundle down below. It is an all-in-one pack for the price of one. So go check that out. You might as well. You're going to save some time. Have a good day, guys. Peace.